Hey there, Psych2Goers. Let's begin another journey towards understanding everyday psychology better. Are you among those who consider sensitivity a weakness? If so, that might not be entirely true. A person can be both sensitive and strong at the same time. Some of them might even be what is known as a highly sensitive person, someone who perceives things at a much deeper level. And so they experience feelings and sensations much more intensely than others. Highly sensitive people make up 15 to 20% of everyone all over the world. And even rarer are those who are both HSPs and have a strong personality. Are you curious if you might be one of them? Well, here are eight signs you're a highly sensitive person with a strong personality. One, you stand up for what's right. Do you find it difficult to turn a blind eye when someone wrongs another? Being an HSP, you have a strong sense of right and wrong, and you're not afraid to stand up for what you believe in. It's easy for you to relate to how other people are feeling and put yourself in their shoes. So when you see someone being mistreated or mocked in any way, you're the first to jump in and protect them. Two, you are a natural leader. Your friends and family all turn to you for advice, often, or simply follow your lead when they don't know what to do next. You don't try to steal the spotlight or take charge of the situation, but for some reason you usually have leadership positions thrust upon you by others. A lot of people are drawn to your strong personality because you're confident, assertive, and self-assured. But being an HSP, you're also more empathetic and great at communicating, which are all crucial elements of effective leadership. And you're a deep thinker, so others know that they can trust you to make the right decisions and you're always encouraging and helping them to do their best. Three, you are a great mediator. One of the greatest strengths of your sensitivity is that it makes you great at mediating and resolving conflict. While most HSPs feel uncomfortable about confrontations, you don't let it intimidate you because you have a strong personality. You can't stand tension of any kind between your loved ones, so you make it your job to get to the bottom of things and come up with the best resolution for the situation at hand. You're able to set your personal feelings aside to help your friends and family work out their differences by getting them to hear each other out and come to an understanding. Four, you think things through. Do you find it hard to come to a decision without completely thinking things through first? Is it second nature for you to consider every possible angle and probable outcome of a situation? You think long and hard about what you want, what other people want, and what's best for everyone involved. You're thorough, analytical, and strategic with every move you make. Being an HSP, you make sure to think about how your words and actions will affect those around you, but you also don't let other people's personal agendas sway your opinions and cloud your judgment. Five, you always tell the truth. You do your best to be as truthful as you can be with yourself and those around you. You're not afraid to speak your mind, but you do it in a gentle and most considerate way. You tell your loved ones what they need to hear, even if it's hard. You call people out when you feel that they can benefit from it, and you're never fake with your words or your friendliness. Six, you are an active listener. Most people don't really take the time to listen to one another. They simply think about what they're gonna say and wait for their turn to talk, but not you. You really take the time to listen and understand what the other person is trying to say, because you know how nice it is to be heard. Your heightened sensitivity allows you to pick up on the subtleness of their words, movements, and facial expressions to get a better understanding of what they really mean. You use your strength to keep your composure and stay reassuring and positive. Seven, you are fiercely independent. All highly sensitive people need time alone to recharge and collect their thoughts. You can't function properly if you're not given the personal space you need to process everything that's going on. You like to work on your own because you're more productive that way. You know what you want and you go after it relentlessly, but at your own pace. You don't need anyone telling you what to do or how to do it. And eight, you want meaningful relationships. Do you crave meaningful relationships in your life? If so, there's a very good chance you're an HSP with a strong personality. You don't want casual friends to make meaningless small talk with just for the comfort of having someone to talk to. It's important to you that you connect with people on an emotional level and feel comfortable enough to share a laugh with them, call them up after a breakup, or to have a late night conversation with about your dreams in life. And you're not happy settling for anything less. 
While it may not seem like it at first glance, sensitivity and strength actually go hand in hand. Being an HSP makes you more introspective and empathetic, while having a strong personality makes you more open, courageous, and tenacious. So if you're lucky enough to be blessed with both, never lose sight of it, because to be soft and strong all at once is a rare and beautiful gift many of us can only hope to have. Do you know any HSPs around you? Can you now differentiate their personality? Or do you find these points relevant to your own personality type? Do let us know in the comments below. Also share this video with those you think might benefit from it. Keep watching for more. And as always, thanks for watching.